do a video about breastfeeding and bottle feeding and I've done both. I have two baby boys, one named Owen who is now 22 months and I've got Blake who was, was 3 months yesterday. Um, I did bottle feed Owen but I'm breastfeeding Blake and I just want to tell you my experience on both. I'm not pro bottle and I'm not pro best breast as long as the baby has been fed and they're happy with it. I'm, I'm much for that. But I just wanted to express my opinions on how I felt trying both ways. So when I was bottle feeding Owen, I bottle fed because if I didn't really know much about breastfeeding. I haven't got any friends who I know who have breastfed. So I have very little information. I've never seen it done before because it's not as common as it is here, as it is in other countries. So when I uh, had Owen, I did. I was originally going to combination feed, but my midwife suggested that that was too difficult, and they didn't recommend for people to do that. So it, I just completely scrapped the idea of breastfeeding, and I just stuck to the bottle, which. I thought it, it, it worked for me and Owen back then, but now, as I have two children, I don't think I could have bottle fed Blake because of, I do really appreciate the time with Owen, the, the time that I can spend with him would have been if I decided to bottle feed Blake, the time that I was sterilising, boiling the kettle, getting formula ready and then making those bottles and cooling them. That's precious time that I could be spending with my eldest son. So. That's one reason why I do prefer breastfeeding. It's just as simple as just putting him on really, and you can do it anywhere. Um, I have noticed some differences in Owen and Blake because one was breastfed and one was uh, formula fed. I'm obviously not saying that this is scientifically proven of these things. With, uh, I know that if your baby does take formula, then the chance of them getting eczema is increased and Owen had formula and on day 12 he got eczema. Blake, however, who is breastfed and he is now three months old, he hasn't had any eczema, which again it's not scientifically proven, but to me it's a difference. Um, Owen gained weight obviously with the formula, but he only gained it to a certain extent and then his, his weight gain stopped dramatically. With Blake, Blake has been gaining weight and he's now on the 95th percentile of his weight. At three, um, I think two weeks ago he weighed 14 pounds and 7 ounces and he was up on the high part of the chart and he's already lengthwise in still in 3 to 6 months clothes. I do know all babies are different so just this is my opinion on what I, and what I feel. Oh wait, no! Stop it! So with anybody who doesn't know the benefits on breastfeeding, the benefits for you are, it, well the main one, the one that people like the most, is the fact that it does help you shred your pregnancy weight quicker. Um, it reduces the risk of cancer in both you and your baby and it gives you a better bond, it releases endorphins when you feed which which are effective at stopping or preventing postnatal depression. People do believe it gives you and your baby a better bond. And um, I think for me it's actually given me a bit of pride in myself. I'm actually real I feel really happy that I've been able to breastfeed and I'm really proud of myself for actually persevering with it. I'm hoping not to wean Blake and exclusively breastfeed for the first six months and then from as soon as we do that weaning him I am still going to breastfeed and I'm hoping to breastfeed until at least 18 months old. Um, the benefits for your baby are obviously if you kiss your baby and they they're a bit they've got like germs on the lips that can cause them to have a cold or anything, you kiss them, you get that on your body and then you your body automatically prevents that and then you pass them hot then hormones back to your baby, not hormones, but you know what I mean, um, that then prevents your baby from catching a cold. So you won't, you prevent illness in them, your milk is obviously better for them than formula. There's more fat in your normal milk. What are you doing? 
the best way to make sure you have a healthy supply is to not eat little, but eat little and often. And as long as you feed your baby as and when they won't pick, want feeding, your supply will be fine. Because as your baby wants more food as they're growing and having growth spurt, they want to feed. And as they're feeding, that tells your body that you need to produce more milk to help feed your baby. So that's why your first 24 hours when you're breastfeeding, that is the most difficult until your milk comes in. And your baby will be on you pretty much 24-7 just to tell your body how much milk your baby actually needs. My, my baby Blake was, he was an angel for the first 24 hours, but the next 24 hours after that, he was on me pretty much non-stop just because he was he was born 8-11 and he did need a lot of milk so he just wanted to make sure that I wasn't to produce enough for it. I will admit it is hard in the beginning but it is so rewarding and it does get a lot easier and you'll notice like my confidence has grown a lot breastfeeding. It doesn't make sense why but I just feel better in myself and I feel like I'm doing the best thing for my baby. I know obviously I'm not pro breastfeeding, I'm not pro bottle feeding, I'm just pro feeding as long as you're feeding your baby but this is my opinion. I'm sure loads of people will agree with me. Um, if you want to help increase your supply, if you don't have a naturally good supply, which I've heard some people don't, I've heard that eating oats is really good for increasing your supply. So that would mean stuff like porridge is no fit to 